Hello, and welcome back to another episode of my American Truck Simulator playthrough. Now, last time, what did we do? Let's take a look here. We took a job, I believe it was from Stockton up here, and we went down through Santa Cruz. I'm not 100% sure if we discovered it, by the looks of it, it looks like we might have. Actually, yes, we did, because the name is yellow, which means it's been discovered. So we went down from Stockton, and we discovered Santa Cruz and Oxnard. We took something down here to Oxnard. If I'm not mistaken, I think it might have been tires, but don't quote me on that one. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be taking a job out of Oxnard here today, because as I've said before, I... Wherever I leave off, I sort of want to pick up a job from there and continue on because to me that's just what seems natural. I mean, I've discussed this before about if you're in Oxnard and you drop something off, you're going to either be there or you're going to go to a different city or something. But I'm going to start off and uh, we're going to look at uh, what jobs are coming out of Oxnard. And, of course, I have the price set to the price per distance to get us the best money per mile. Now, there's not really... Home accessories aren't really that exciting, I'm going to be honest. I sort of want to take a Peterbilt. But, at the same time, I would rather take a Peterbilt day cab like this one here but it doesn't really pay all that well and iron pipes really isn't all that exciting um... this one here, the silica, sort of interests me, but it's to Bakersfield. It is a route we haven't taken before, but we've already discovered Bakersfield, so I'm trying to discover some new places. Uh... this sort of takes us back up the way we came and takes us into Fresno Honestly, I think I might take the home accessories. It's not the most exciting load. We'll probably just have a regular trailer. It might be one of the short wheelbase trailers. I'm not sure. I don't. We. But we'll see. I'm gonna take this job. It doesn't pay the most, but it pays the best per distance per mile. So I'm gonna take this one just because it'll take us down to Barstow, and we haven't been there, and it's a road we haven't taken yet. I would have taken the fertilizer, but it's around the same type of road we just came down, so I don't really want to do that, because I don't think that would be very exciting. So, we'll take the home accessories then. Alright, so... It's 3 a.m., so this will be probably a day job. It is one of the short wheelbase trailers. These, I'm not sure, I don't think we've taken one like this before. They're interesting, you see them a lot in the cities, and the reason for that is that they have a much tighter turning circle, so when you're driving through the city, you can make your way around corn, the tight corners and tight roads of the city a lot easier. The only, the one thing I don't like about them is that their wheelbase is shorter, which makes their turning circle much shorter. And we have a Peterbilt now, so I can turn off the road advisor. But yeah, it makes their turning circle shorter, especially when you are reversing. So it can really catch you out, because you'll start reversing like you normally would, and then all of a sudden you'll be turned in way too far and it just it'll catch you out so that's something you have to watch out for the good thing about them is that they are shorter so if you get into a situation where you don't have a lot of room to reverse that's fine because I mean they're shorter so they take up less room so it might be an interesting challenge reverse and thing it depends on what are drop-off point is going to be, I think we're delivering it to, yes, to a rail yard, so that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, 
Yeah, hopefully... What time are we due? I was just looking at this. We're due... Okay, so in the morning. So hopefully we'll actually get to see a nice sunrise, because I know driving at night is nice. I sort of like it for the fact that there's not many cars around. There's less traffic, so you don't have to worry about the AI causing you issues. But I have to say that the sunrises and sunsets in this game are just absolutely beautiful. And I will have an album of screenshots that I'll be taking probably not on this profile because I don't want to interrupt the videos with taking screenshots and stuff. But on my other profiles I'll be taking screenshots and posting them up on my Facebook page which I'll have a link to in the description. But the environment in this game is just, it's so nice, it's beautiful, there's so much they put so much effort into making sure that it's just spot on. And the sunrises and sunsets, I just love them. You can't get anything better than that. And hopefully here soon will actually, the sun will soon start to come up. And I'm going to miss my turning. going down here and turning around. I guess that's what I get for not paying attention, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. There's a motel here we can pull into and just turn around real quick. Something I still haven't fixed is that steering sensitivity. Especially on some of these tighter turns, it's horrible because you go to turn into them, it's like, okay, I'm not turning. Yeah, it's starting to get lighter out here now. Come on, turn. There we go. Not sure. The sun is coming up behind us there, so an eye out in the mirror and you'll start to see just the horizon line and how beautiful it actually is. I mean look at that, that's just, it's amazing. Like, you never see something like that in Euro Truck. Now another thing that I want to talk about in this video is uh, something that SCS posted on their blog. It's that American Truck has been out for about a week or two weeks now. Can't actually remember. I think it's been, yeah, a week. And I sort of expected them at release to do this because it would have made more sense, but they now on Steam they have a demo of American Truck. I haven't really checked it out or anything seeing as I own the game. I don't know how if there's a time limit of how long you can play it or you can only do X amount of deliveries or what it is. But that's up there now, so if you're not sure if you want to pay the $20 or $30, whatever it is in your currency, for American Truck, you're not really sold on it, just go take a look at the demo on, their, on the American Truck Steam page, and hopefully that will sort out any issues you have with the game. I know a lot of people have been saying that, oh, it's not worth the money because there's only two trucks in two states, even though there are more that are definitely coming. But that's their decision, and I mean, they can go check out the demo and just see how amazing this game actually is for themselves. And I mean, the reason I said I sort of expected SCS to have a demo from release is because it would have made more sense to have it at release because of the fact that you'd have more people, you're always going to have the people that are questioning if they want to buy a game. 
and those concerns of those people can be taken care of pretty easily with a very well-built demo. And having a well-built demo means that people can play it, get a sense for what your game is going to be like, and then decide if they want to buy the full thing or not. And I think SCS should have headed out earlier because, I mean, they could have got more sales quicker if they had a demo for people to try. But, I mean, it's only a week later, so if you're not sure if you want to buy the game or whatever, go out and get the demo. And going to another subject now about mods. I have been keeping my eye out for more mods and seeing what's coming out. There hasn't been a whole lot that's really been catching my eye. There is one that I'm thinking about getting. I might have it for the next episode, I'm not sure. And it's called... I think it's called like Vintage Billboards or something like that. If I get it, I'll put it in the mod spreadsheet. But basically it'll take all of the corny billboards that SCS made and basically transfer them into older style billboards. You have like older car billboards and some Coca-Cola billboards and things like that that are associated with America and stuff like that. And I thought that it was kind of interesting because I've seen a mod that actually replaced them with more modern billboards but I've used that one and it doesn't really seem to replace all the billboards. I've only seen it replace a couple of them and it said it was supposed to replace quite a few. So that's why I'm not using that one. A speeding offense? How? I was doing 38 and the speed limit's 55. So if you're ever driving down that road that I was just on, in LA, just be aware that I think something's broken. Because my road advisor said, or my GPS down there said that it was a 55 limit. And I was doing under 40 and got nailed for speeding. And of course there was a cop there so the speed fine is doubled. no wonder that there are so many mods. If you go out on a mod website for ATS, you'll see just countless numbers of police mods turning the police off, or stopping them from spawning, or making their fines, like, cut in half, or whatever. And it's no wonder when things like that happen. I mean, I can understand if I was actually speeding, getting a fine, but when the limit said 55 and I wasn't speeding and I got nailed that's just unacceptable that's something that they have to fix or create more tolerance for whatever I don't know what the problem was there if it was just a bug in the map or what it was but it's those kinds of little things that make you start to think about getting mods to get rid of the police, but I'm not going to because I mean most of the time you can live with the speed changes because I mean you generally think, oh, that's the listed speed limit on my GPS, that must be what the actual speed limit is. While we're on the topic of little bugs I've found, I don't know if this truck has a retired or it doesn't, but if you're going along in a truck that has a retarder and you turn on the cruise control, and say I have my cruise control on like I do now, when you're coming down a hill, when you start to gain speed it will automatically turn on the retarder to keep you from going over your uh, cruise control limit. Now, that's great. But if you're going down a hill and the retarder's on with your cruise control on and you turn off cruise control, the retarder will stick on. I've noticed this and it's really weird and I don't know why it does it, but 
clicking the retarder decrease button that you have mapped doesn't do anything. You have to increase the retarder and then decrease it to turn it off. Well, well, let's see. I'm not going to get pulled into a way station. Actually, that's a gas station way station. Uh, that sort of rhymed. But I don't think those are actual way stations. The signs come up on the side of the road and say that there's a way station coming up. But I've never actually been pulled into one of those. I mean, I don't know if they actually work as way stations, but I've just never been pulled into one. So, if you have been pulled into one, you want to just point it out in the comments, go right ahead, because I'm not sure if those are actual way stations that work or not. Yeah, so there are a few bugs here and there in the game that I'm sure will get flushed out as time goes on. They get reported to SCS and SCS fixes them. I know there's one place we'll probably come across at some point in our journeys, but in Nevada there's a level crossing for a train and I'm not sure how it works, but it seems like every time I go past there, it will, as you get to a certain point, the lights will start to flash and it will spawn a train in and bring the gates down. And if you don't realize that that happens, it will catch you out and you will not stop before the gates, before the gates, and you'll just crash into the gates, which is not a pleasant experience. But there are a few things that SCS needs to work on. Something that I know a lot of people want is for SCS to bring in longer trains because I mean freight trains in America are usually fairly long but the ones in ATS and even in Eurotruck are relatively short and it's kind of disappointing because I mean Realistically, if you come to a level crossing or whatever and the gates come down, they're going to be sitting there for a little while waiting for the train if it's a long train. I have seen a mod that has started to tackle this. It was like improved train lengths or something. I don't have it installed yet. I haven't tried it out. Mostly because the description of the mod said that he only had one train, it was really weird the way that he had a word, it almost made it sound like every train was completely independent based on its location, so he had to go through and change each train at each location, and he said he had the train that went past the Fresno train yard. That was longer, but he was still working on trying to get other trains at a longer length, so I'm not sure how that works, but I am keeping my eye out on that mod because it would be really nice to have a mod that increased the length of the trains. And we're here in Barstow now at the rail export. I don't know, where do they want this? They want it right there. This shouldn't be too bad of a park. Just swing down here. off. Now, I have seen, you can see over there, sort of, there's a little bit of a gap between, on the other side of this wire and concrete and boxes and stuff. I have seen one of the skilled parkings that you have to basically spin your truck around and back it, the trailer, down there against that cement wall. I haven't done it yet. I've seen other people do it, and it does not look like something that would be fun at all. Now see how quickly this trailer is turning? This is what I'm talking about with the short wheelbase. It makes the set turn so much quicker and it will catch you out so quickly. It can be useful, but at other times it's just a pain in the butt. this 
probably not. I'll probably have to pull ahead a little bit. Get back in here as far as I can. Pull it ahead. Look, there's a bit of a gap right here. You can fit your truck through between this post and this trailer. It doesn't give you a lot of wiggle room, but it gives you that little bit of space just to pull ahead. And it doesn't take much turning to get this trailer <coughs> turning, so we don't need much room to wiggle. Trailer's in, square it off a little bit. And it should ding here for us, there we go. Parking brake on, and disconnect. Now, let's see, I forget how close we were to leveling up. And we made it to level 2. We got an extra 40 XP for parking the trailer, which seems kind of weird, because the other times we were getting 90. But, whatever, we got an extra whole $26, look at that, for being level 1. So, we ended up with $2,600 and 233 XP, which got us up to level 2. We should make it about halfway to level 3 or so in the next episode. But for now, it's time to pick what we want for our next skill point. Now, we could get Fragile Cargo, which gives us an extra 5% increase, because we already have the 5%, so it would give us an overall 10% higher reward for delivering Fragile Cargo. But... I don't really want to get that. I want to get either, I think, high value or just in time. just want to take a look at them. You get 18% experience for high value and a 5% higher reward. And a 20% experience bonus, but only a 3% higher reward. Myself, I'm not really too worried about the experience factor. I mean, yes, it would be nice because it makes you level up a lot quicker. But... At such a low level, I'd rather be getting the higher reward for delivering the cargo, so I'm going to go ahead and stick that point in the high value. And I did that because, as you can see, we have $8,000 in the bank right now, which, I mean, it's not bad. We got nailed there for, what, $1,800 or something like that for speeding fine that was... I don't even know how to explain that, but basically, I want to get as much money as I can before I reach level 6, because at level 6 I'll be buying my own truck. If I can find a decent truck mod that I can actually buy the truck at level 6, or if the W900 comes out by that time, I'll, I might just consider taking one of those instead of the Peterbilt or the Kenworth that's in the game right now. So, until next time, goodbye.